Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve equations with variables on both sides. As you can see, we have four important things we need to remember when solving equations with variables on both sides. The first thing we need to know is that the concept of equality is going to be used to solve for the variable. The concept of equality is commonly referred to as whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. Now when you're solving equations, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get x equals a number. Once you have x equals a number, then you know that is your solution. In order to get that, what you're going to do is you're going to get the variable on one side of the equation and constants on the other. Now the variable just means x or any letter that represents a number and constants are just numbers. You're going to want the variable on one side is equal to a number on the other side. In order to do that, you're going to first add or subtract to get the variables and the constants on opposite sides of the equal sign. Then you will divide by the coefficient on the variable. For example, if we had, say, 7x, 7 is the coefficient on the x. So this is what you have to divide by. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get to work and get started on our first practice problem about equations with variables on both sides. So the first practice problem gives us 4x minus 19 equals x plus 11. The first thing we have to do is we have to get all the variables on one side and then we have to get all the constants on the other side. The way we're going to do that is we're going to use the concept of equality. So we're going to add or subtract first to get all the variables together and then add or subtract again to get all the constants together. If I look at this equation, we have 4x and we have just x, which is also 1x. I need to put those together. This is a positive 4x, this is a positive 1x. I have to move one of these x's to the other side so it's with its like term. In the case of this example, I'm just going to subtract 1x from this side. This is a positive 1x. When I do that, these x's will cancel. I subtracted 1x on this side. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So on this side, I'm also going to subtract 1x. So we're going to do 4x minus 1x. Well, that is 3x. I'm going to bring down minus 19 equals, and then I'm going to bring down 11. So this minus 19 the equal symbol and the 11, they stay the same. So they just come straight down. Now we have our variables together. We have to get the constants together on the opposite side. On the left right now, we have 3x minus 19 equals 11. We have to get rid of this minus 19 because we want just x's on this side. So the opposite of minus 19 is plus 19. So I'm going to add 19 here. So plus 19 here. And then you can see, because we added 19 on this side, we also have to add 19 to the other side. So 11 plus 19 is 30 equals, on the equal sign comes down, and then 3x also comes straight down because we didn't change it. Now the last step is to get rid of this coefficient. Now it's not written, but when you have a coefficient like this, it's like saying three times x. So there's like a little multiplication symbol there. We have to undo three times x. The opposite of times or the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by three. That way the threes will cancel and we're left with just x on this side. So on the left we divided by three, which means on the right we also have to divide by three. So we're going to go 30 divided by 3, and we're going to get 10. So the solution to this equation is x equals 10. Moving on to the second practice problem. This practice problem has 2x minus 3 equals 11x minus 21. Now remember the first step is to get the variables together. Then we're going to get the constants together. It doesn't matter which x gets subtracted from the other x. 
this is a positive 2x and this is positive 11x. So I could subtract 2x and get rid of the x on this side or I could subtract 11x and get rid of the 11x on this side. It's not going to change your answer. In the case of this problem, I'm just going to subtract 2x from this side. So this 2x will cancel and I'm also going to subtract 2x from this side because you have to keep the equations balanced and whatever you do to one side you have to do to the other. So 11x minus 2x is 9x. Negative 3 or minus 3 comes right down. Equals comes down and then negative 21 or minus 21 also comes down. Now we have negative 3 equals 9x minus 21. Well this minus 21 has to go to the other side because we want all the constants on one side and all the variables on the other. And the variable in this example is on the right hand side. We need to put all the constants on the left hand side or on the other side. So what I'm going to do is the opposite of minus 21 is plus 21. So I'm going to add 21 here. Whatever you do to one side you have to do to the other. So we're going to add 21 here. And now we have negative 3 plus 21. Well that is 18. Equals comes straight down and then we didn't change the 9x so it stays 9x. Now remember this is like saying 9 times x, so the opposite of that would be to divide by 9. So we're going to divide by 9, so the 9's cancel, and then whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. You also have to divide by 9 on this side. So now we have x on this side that's left over, and then 18 divided by 9 is 2. So our solution is 2 equals x. Finally, the last practice problem on equations with variables on both sides is going to be 55x plus 19 equals negative 5x minus 41. So our first step is to get the, the variables together. So if I look at this, I have 55x and I have negative 5x on the other side. I could subtract 55x or I could add 5x. It doesn't matter, you'll get the same answer. In this case, I'm going to add 5x to both sides. These x's will cancel like that. And then 55x plus 5x, well that's going to be 60x. And I'm going to bring down plus 19 because that hasn't been changed. The equal sign comes straight down and then minus 41 also comes down because that has not been changed. Now we have to get the constants on the opposite side of the variable. So we have 60 plus, or we have 60x plus 19 on this side. So we have to get rid of this 19 because we want just x's on the, this side. We subtract 19 because the opposite of plus 19 is minus 19. We also have to subtract 19 from the other side to keep the equation balanced. Negative 41 minus 19 is negative 60. And then 60x we didn't change so it comes straight down. Now this is like saying 60 times x. We have to undo 60 times x so you have to divide by 60. So those 60's will cancel, we have just x here, and then negative 60 divided by 60 on this side will be negative 1. So our solution to this equation with variables on both sides is going to be x equals negative 1. And if you want to download our free practice worksheet or do a practice quiz, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video. And you'll be taken to the worksheet and the practice quiz that will grade itself and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it. And drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!